Lucas Media. So, of course, we have some news coming out of boxing. Javante Tank Davis and Vasil, Vasil Lomachenko was in negotiations. Ever since the, Javante Davis had that devastating knockout on Frank Martin last month, there's been rumors that they were going to fight and Javante Tank Davis has his hit list. You've been hearing talks about between either Tank, I mean, Shakur Stevenson or Lomachenko. Well, Lomachenko pulled out of negotiations and basically saying that he'd rather let Tank fight Shakur first and then they can retalk again in 2025. And this really pissed a lot of people off. And I understand because Javante Tank, Tank Davis versus Lomachenko is a mega fight, even with the promotions. Now, Lomachenko went up against Teofimo Lopez and lost and Devin Haney and lost his last two losses. But then he beat George Cambosis with ease. And, you know, now he was rumors of he wanted to be undisputed and I think they was trying to be undisputed. So, of course, they want to get it on, you know, to see who's the best of the best, especially with Vasil Lomachenko. Being the IBF champion, Javante Tank Davis being the WBA champion at 135, they can fight for unification. But now that Lomachenko is pulled out and he wants them to fight Shakur, you're being here rumbling that they might fight. And Javante Tank Davis's co trainer, Kenny Ellis, talked about them fighting and that it's a possible, it's a possible fight. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm not surprised. This is boxing. 90% business playing games, 10% the actual fight. And it's pretty genius by Lomachenko because what he's trying to do is, in my opinion, Javante Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson fight for unification, which I don't think is going to happen next, but let's just say if it did. One of them will knock each other off for Lomachenko, so which means if Javante Tank, Tank Davis hypothetically beat Shakur, he'll be unified. Lomachenko don't have to fight Shakur. And then Javante Tank, Tank Davis has more wear and tear on him. See, L Lomachenko knows that Tank Davis is in his prime. So if he can kick the can down the road, that's one of the things we say in the Midwest. You can kick the can down the road just a little bit longer. You never know. And if somehow Shakur clips Javante or, or vice versa, it's, it's a win-win for, for Lomachenko. And I also think that Lomachenko got one more loss. If he goes out there and he loses against Tank Davis in devastating fashion, he will no longer be one of the top guys at 135. What was it, his first fight he fought? Yeah, he lost against Salido and ESPN and top rank kind of swept that under the rug. And then he ended up losing against Tiafimo during the pandemic in October 2020. And then against Devin Haney last year, uh, May of last year for Undisputed. So I don't know if Lomachenko has a lot more losses for him to continue to be one of the bigger fighters at 135. But it would be nice, honestly, to see Tank Davis and Shakur fight. That's still for unification. The winner would be the WBA, WBC champion at 135, which means they would be the top dog. But I don't think it's going to fight. It's going to happen. Shakur's a free agent. And if he signs with PBC, he's going to, they're going to make him fight a couple of filler fights before Tank, honestly. I also can see, well, I'll say this. I wouldn't be surprised that if Shakur ends up staying with top rank or having his own deal with ESPN or going over to the zone. But I just don't know if the PBC will be feasible because who's over there at 135? I mean, Isak Cruz there at 140. I doubt Shakur is going to move up. And I did also see where Tank's going to fight Shakur. I mean, fight possibly Isak Cruz at 140, which would be cool because that's one of the only fighters that Tank Davis never stops. But I don't know, man. I mean, I want to see the best fight the best. But these games, we play in the promotional companies. and Oh, I got this belt. I don't want to give it up. It's, they going to keep playing games as long as they can, man, as long as they can. But if Tank, yeah, if Tank beats, whoever Tank beats, if he becomes unified at 135, he the top guy down there. He the top guy down there. Or if Shakur or whoever, whoever, whoever gets two belts is going to be that guy. And most people want Tank to, Tank to be it. I think Tank at this moment beats Shakur. I think he beats Lomachenko. I think he beats everybody down there at 135 right now. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.